Nigerians rally behind Dangote as a name said NPC personnel who owned lending plants abroad. Chairman of the Dangote Group, Alinko Dangote, has disclosed that many NNPC personnel own blending plants, blending plants abroad. The Nigerian billionaire said that the government allows importation of inferior products into the country. Dangote's statements have sparked debate among Nigerians, the majority of whom support the billionaire in their quest to end petroleum imports in Nigeria. The chairman of the Dangote Group, Aligo Dangote, has criticized the Nigerian government for allowing the importation of dirty fuel into Nigeria. Dangote said importation of dirty fuel undermines the quality and price stability of fuel in the country. Dangote raises dust on NNPC personnel. The Nigerian billionaire accused some NNPC personnel and all traders of owning blending plants in Malta where they allegedly import inferior products with fake import certificates. Dangote comments have sparked debate among Nigerians with some supporting his stance and others criticizing his alleged monopolistic tendencies. According to reports, the Nigerian government has met with Dangote and other key stakeholders to address and resolve the ongoing row surrounding the Dangote refinery. NMDPRA accuses Dangote of inferior products. Recall that the Nigerian Midstream and Downstream Petroleum Regulatory Authority, NMDPRA, said the fall from Dangote and other refineries in Nigeria are of inferior quality. The NMDPRA said the Dangote diesel has high sulfur content, which is, which is a statement that Dangote refinery management denied. Reports say the agency also disclosed that the refinery operates without a license for 650 650,000 barrels per day, and it is still at the pre-commissioning stage. However, Dangote Refinery said the statement by the NMDPRA's Chief Executive Officer, Farouk Ahmed, contains falsehood and is meant to tarnish the company's image. Dangote challenges NMPC to buy him out. On Sunday, July 21, 2024, Dangote called out the Nigerian National Petroleum Company Limited NMPCL and asked the National Oil Company to buy him out of his $20 billion refinery and run it if they could. Most Nigerians have rallied behind the Bologna, leading to the Nigerian government calling for a truce between him and the government agencies. Energy policy analyst and leader of platforms, Africa, Adeola Yusuf, said the ongoing role between Dangote and regulatory agencies would send the wrong signal to investors. He disclosed that the billionaire is fighting against entitled entities and oil cartels who have held the Nigerian economy to ransom for decades. We are seeing now that all these entities which have held the country and the jugular are fighting hard to prevent the Dangote refinery from coming to fruition. They know the refinery can end petroleum port in Nigeria, hence their fight against Dangote. Dangote offers to sell refinery. New Zealand reported that Aliko Dangote has said he is ready to relinquish ownership of the world's biggest refinery to the Nigeria National Petroleum Company Limited, NNPC. The Nigerian billionaire spoke amidst a new dispute over the sulfur content of petroleum products produced from the refinery and reported misunderstanding with the NNPC, one of the refinery's key equity partners, and the Nigeria Midstream Downstream Regulatory Authority, NMDPRA. The refinery, which was commissioned by former President Muhammad Buhari, is estimated to have cost about $20 billion. Now, I am going to ask, I am not a fan of Dangote, sincerely because of his monopolistic way of doing business. Mm? He is not open-minded. He's not an open-minded person. We all saw this with this man, because of what he did with cement and all of that, he does not have that eye. Yes, you're supposed to be broad-minded. There is nobody that will come and do business the way Dangote is doing it. So he should not be the one to worry that, oh, somebody wants to come and produce cement. Because of, you know, his monopolistic nature over cement, him and this boa cement and all of that. Since then, I'm not a fan of him. But you see, on top of this matter... I am not, I know, yeah, he might also want to monopolize. Government should not give him the right to monopolize it. We also know, say, government money, they inside this thing. This particular refinery, we know, say, their money, they inside. But I know they fool us. 
Our money they inside this thing. We then use give and making you support build this thing. We know say they get deal. Uh, we know say be like say they deal don't they shake. You know consign me. But you see, the war against people who are always importing fuel into the company. You see, only them they import fuel into this country. They go carry oil from here, carry and go outside. Eh? Carry and go outside, go refine. Then still no go carry better oil, come back. To me, it is sounding like they take our good oil, go over there and bring back back oil. Say then swear for one, shake away for one, then swear for them. Ha ha. Then carry bad oil, come inside. They will carry bad oil, bad diesel, but what is it? Haven't these people done enough? And I'll keep singing it. People who are actually in charge of these things, waiting, then they use this money to say they won't go even with these things where they gather. Because me, I know say this thing where they gather and sand. What is going on? Like I said, I'm not saying this become because of Dango. This is not because of Dango. Tea. It is high time we start even fighting people who are bringing and who no one's number one. They don't want to make light this table. So that we will continue to buy generators. Do you understand? There is a war going on in that particular sector, in the power sector. Now, in the oil and gas sector, there is also a war going on, which is making you know them not to build our refineries. Nigeria have how many refineries? Packed. No one they work. Why? A country like us that oil now oil waiting that they deal on. At least they say whatever is worth doing is worth doing well. Why not build our refineries? Make them, you know, available to refine oils. Make them able. Build them, prepare them, and let us start refining our oil. Because see this notion of sending our oil out and bringing out, rather rather they bring inside this country. It is powder dash. I don't know, but we really need to work together. I don't know how this country is going to be, but I know that for us to even get anywhere it is when we agree but unfortunately we are not agreeing some people they come outside now they fight if you come outside come talk some things then go fight you meanwhile these people call those in government then they fight for their belly then they fight for their interests you will see them work together you will see somebody in apc and pdb somebody in zlp and apc will be working together why because of in selfish interest too He's been at least because of him pockets. Meanwhile, me and you waiting inside this country, we cannot be united. You know, if we drop our 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 pride, our ego, our differences aside, fight this thing to the end and actually have a good country. Our lunch now we they do our safe. Now we they do our safe. It is until we come to that realization that we cannot do anything except we do it together that things will start getting better. I will leave now with this one. Right on this note, we've come to the end of the news. We say thank you for tuning in to listen until I come your way next time. Enjoy the rest of your day.